Hi, welcome to the hinge where we're currently sat in the centre of the fucking sun. It's yeah, about it's a billion degrees. Boiling! Do you know what I mean? They're making another Matrix. That's interesting, but it's not. A, it's not a reboot. Well, it's Michael B. Jordan's the the guy, and then you've the got Neo. Oh, yeah, and the Wachowskis are sort of directing it again. Okay. The problem is they made the Matrix, which was great, but everything else since then has mm. not been. I'm trying to think about what else they did. Great. It's like uh, Jupiter Ascending. Oh yeah, that Speed cool. Race. Uh, yeah. That one with Tom Hanks where he's loads of different people. What, a uh, Cloud Atlas? Yeah. yeah. And also the Matrix Reloaded and Matrix Revelations. Yeah, I didn't really mind them as a kid, but I think probably nowadays, looking back on it, I probably wouldn't be too impressed. So I don't know if they're going to be a prequel, sequel, and I pretty much we've said this with every fucking franchise now. Can we... Okay, Michael B. Jordan, I don't care if it's a prequel or whatever, just have him maybe learning a few Matrix moves, but in a small... Not the whole Save the Whole World yeah, bollocks. Not watch. Just in the world of the Matrix... Mm. But not actually out of the Matrix. Fuck Zion and all the the, the raids. Oh, you don't want to see... Yeah, yeah. You Just be... It? So do you, would you prefer it to be a prequel? Because I feel like... I don't know, didn't you know, end everything at the it end It kind of felt like the, he, everyone just... It's been so long. I felt like everyone just got, got on. I don't think they released yeah. all the humans from the Matrix. I think... Yeah, I so people are still in there. It was so good and memorable, I can't fucking remember mm. it. Um, but Neo dies and Trinity dies and... Okay. I think Morpheus is okay. He just chills out. I don't know if you ever saw the Animatrix... I did. I yeah, did really I really like that, which was that. exactly what I want, where it was just little things in the world of the Matrix. Oh, so that, yeah, um, that would be quite good. So it was, like, it was like this haunted house that people mm. thought was haunted, but really it was just like glitch in the Matrix. And then there was these people who like used to capture the robots. But like a little bit of a Black Mirror sort of thing. Kind of, Matrix, yeah. But it's just like loads of weird ways the Matrix can fuck up. Yeah. And I remember sort of like how that re- occurs in real life. Yeah. And so you'd be like, oh shit, like, do you know, do you know like the Deja Vu? Yeah, the Deja Vu thing with the cat yeah, yeah. twice. Um, but I remember there was one where there was like this little robot that they used to, these people outside the Matrix would catch robots mm. and then like wipe their brains so you get me reprogrammed so they'd be friendly. And then this one like makes friends with all the humans and it's going really good. Then more robots turn and kill everybody and he's like, I don't know what to do with my life. I'm a robot. Robot with yeah. the, loves human, but yeah, I, I don't know what it's gonna be like. But it's just, just small. Give them fucking twenty grand. Not twenty grand. That's terrible money. Give yes. them, give them give twenty them, grand. That's it. And go. It's all based in one room, and he's just gonna do backflips in a room. And but yeah, anyway. So you does don't that. think Keanu Reeves will be in it? Uh, it feels like Keanu Reeves is in everything now. Yeah, but I can't complain about it. But no, I don't hate it because I really like him. But um, just sort of like, do you know when everyone started sucking Rick and Morty's dick, and it's like, oh, Rick and Morty are everywhere feels a bit like that maybe yeah but I feel reason. like Keanu's been around so long I don't know I'll, I'd, mm. I'd suck his dick far more than Rick and Morty I would as well but obviously yeah but like it's um, <clears throat> you know what I mean because I know what you mean yeah, yeah. It's, it's like anything it's just like suddenly everything's this and yeah. it's like it makes you annoyed but I think because he's such a nice bloke he is such a nice um, bloke so it's hard to do but yeah uh, New Matrix we'll, we'll see what it is um, but yeah that'll be alright okay and then what about uh, any James like this is- well, look, I'll be it's honest with you, Bond loads of now. shit's going on with the James Bond film, like, uh, Daniel Craig got hurt in some sort of explosion, the director, like, spends all his day playing PS4 games or something, he's been really? in trouble. There's, there's, there's been basically, trouble. this is completely, You're in trouble, <laughs> this is completely unsubstantiated <laughs> news, but from homework. what I've heard, loads of shit's been going on, and it keeps getting, like, new writers, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, um, I was just thinking about, obviously, this is obviously Daniel Craig's last film, Yeah, he can't be asked. Well, he said that last time, didn't he? But we know it is. Well, no, because he kind of didn't. He went, I'm sick of it. We didn't go, this is my last film. He goes, when someone's like, do you want to... Yeah, it's like, do you want to... What do you feel like being James Bond again? He's like, I'd rather slip my wrist. But I think because he, he just finished filming and he's mm. like, for fuck's sake, I'm knackered. Yeah. Um, but no, I think we were talking about just... Because James Bond's a bit of a funny character where, obviously, he's a bit of a womanizer. He's a, he, he's a murderer. Well, he's, he's a murderer for the country. He's not of this time. Yes, basically. And uh, I think it'd be cooler just... Just shifting it, even if, even if it's the fucking well, I was gonna say 1960s. If you think where Sean Connery was what 1960s, yeah, like yeah, shifting it in the time would be cool. But the thing is, you could yeah, you maybe could go even further further back, in the back, yeah. yeah. Just do it when Ian Fleming wrote it, like because obviously he was just it was just after World War Two when he when it was sort of set. So you could go even 50s. You can even go sort of like any time in between and just have different different. Um, Actors just playing, playing James, Bond, yeah. James Bond, but it doesn't have to be in chronological order. It can just be James Bond in this thing, and it's set in that time period. It's got jokes of the time. It's got shit yeah, yeah. of the time. Because most James Bond is him sneaking out. Because in the old Sean Connery ones, he, 
think Doctor No, he's got a gun. Yeah. And I remember he like uh, someone. He, 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 he probably seen the Doctor No, but there's a bit where he takes all his hairs off and licks it and then puts it over yeah, his cupboard. Yeah, cool. Little shit like that. We like that's yeah. fucking cool. Just like yeah, there, there's probably loads of things like that. But like I feel like when Ian Fleming wrote it, he was just out of the war after being a spy. So I don't mm. think you could go before the war. Yeah. I think you kind of got to just be like there because everything did change from there. And yeah. Past well, that point, there was no like radio transmissions or anything. It was just basically. But that's. I but I think when you got too many, too many uh, ways to communicate, it makes it. But it's like, oh, where's Bond? Oh, we've got track rhythm. Oh, where is it? Yeah. Oh, they just call me up. It's like there's, there's no. I like mm-hmm. some guy trapped in his own. But I was saying that the big thing with James Bond is so much of it is built on advertisements. Yeah, the funding and, for it. Yeah, and obviously after that stupid James, well, James Bond quiz, I watched them all. Yeah. And I remember watching them literally after probably like the third one. They really got into it. It was like do you know the old electric shavers. Yes. And it's like here's a cappuccino machine we've just got. Like yeah. And it's clearly there's the watch, it's the glasses, it's the cars. Um, it's yeah, and the... I think it's is it in Skyfall? I think it's Skyfall where he gets like all this stuff taken off him, mm. and then he gets taken out into the way that, that guy shoots. Yeah, JV Abar Dem shoots yeah. that woman's head or whatever. Anyway, and then so he's there, and they're like under his arms, and then it's like, oh, it's sunny. He just pulls out these like amazing sunglasses. It's like, well, yeah. first off, you take his sunglasses, but it was obviously just for the shot. It yeah. was a product shot. So that's the problem, I think, of doing it there. I think maybe. It's probably not that. I bet I'd put well. I'd put only maybe ten percent of their budget is through sponsors. Okay, it might even be more. Too, it's not too little if they're going to make that back. But I think even if a James Bond's still going to do well, it's always yeah. going to do well. So um, give me some Safubi knowledge, Mark, because while well, this Safubi <laughs> melts in the sun, uh, James Groman, who actually has like a Brachiosaurus that looks like it's kind of melting, all its skin and its flesh is sort of t- being torn off it. He does a little set of. Uh, I think they're also on Toy Art Gallery, mm. and there's a little set of I think five quite similar to the Candy Bolton ones, um, little tiny little gacha, but they're sort of like dinosaurs that yeah. have been like, had like metal put in them and stuff like that. Quite cool, little pterodactyls, little yeah, triceratopses, was... loads and loads of other little ones. Um, but this um, this Brachiosaurus, I think it's nine inches high, it might be wrong there, um, it but it's glow in the dark. Yeah, 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 it looks really cool. I'd love to be able to paint that, that'd be amazing. Yeah, because we're, we're doing a Candy Bolton people in the background. Yeah. Uh, and then I'd, I'd obviously gone on Toy Art Guide to find her stuff. And I've not really ever gone on it, but it's actually quite a lot of decent There's a lot of stuff. And it's not that exp- I was expecting you to think no, well, it's pricey. That's it's thing. actually not bad at all. Print news, alternative movie posters, AMP. Okay. Fucking go on it. It's really, really good. They've okay. always got the newest Mondo, blah, blah. They're basically a much oh, better so version just... of me. They're, they completely keep up to date with what's the new... Okay. Obviously, it's all movie posters, so it's, you're missing games or music or whatever. Okay. Those. But um, AMP, go on it. It's already got like a bazillion followers, but join those followers. It's, it's, it's for really the right good. reason. Actually, I will I will do that. I don't think I've heard... I don't think I've so like followed them. the Jurassic Park one I got, <coughs> yeah. uh, that was on there straight away. Mondo have just done these... Um, platoon one, not platoon, sorry, full metal jacket one, the clock calling drums. Mm-hmm. But the second it's on, a, on at least it on Mondo, he's got it. He's like, here's the information, here's where you buy it from, blah, 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 blah. That's quite cool. Uh, he, did these, he did a whole thing of all the Jaws ones on the Jaws anniversary. Oh, AMP, sure. just here's the thing, it's very, very AMP. good. Um, and I'm, I'm literally, I'm always looking at it because it's always got the cool shirt. So, Mark, what is Pokemon Masters? Not a lot's been really released about it. Uh, Not a lot's been said about it? it. It's basically a mobile game. Oh, it's mobile game. It's a mobile game like that. that is, I think you and maybe two of the friends might go up and take on these team, these, these gym leaders. Um, but like throughout all of Pokemon manga, not manga, well, yeah, probably manga, uh, and then anime and all the games and stuff. So it's like characters from that. You fight against red and blue and oak and everyone and green, even though red and green, blue and green are the same person. But is it like, sorry, so what's like the engine? Is it like Pokemon Go? Or I is it. I think it's going to be quite similar to Pokemon Go, but sort of like, you know, just basically just a mobile battle game. I don't think there's going to be any like it was going catching. around. No, not catching, battling exclusively. Okay. Probably. But then how do you get the Pokemon to battle? I think you basically you probably start with one Pokemon and then it's like you. Earn a battle up, mm. and then you go. Oh, I've got twenty coins from this. I'll open a pack of cards. And oh, okay, pack of cards more, yeah. is going to be the thing potentially. I mean, it's it's probably going to be a mobile game, sort of like just to generate a load load of money. But yeah, yeah, it could be quite fun. I mean, I wouldn't mind playing it and seeing how it goes. I really love Pokemon Go. So, is there any sort of connectivity to the new game? I have no field? idea, to be honest. I don't think there will be because it doesn't seem to. I don't know. From what I saw of the trailer, like it was a really, really fucking fantastic trailer. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, really. I'm, I'm just sort of looking forward to seeing all the old gym leaders in one place. And if it's all in, all free, I'm happy. Uh, anyway, that was the hinge. I guess that was the sweaty hinge, Mark. <laughs> it it's was. Sweaty. I'm so fucking sweaty. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We didn't have a sponsor today, so we're losing yeah, money. We're losing money. We're, we're losing in the hole. We're losing money. It's bad. It's bad. It's getting bad. But we've got to stay positive. But right Mark. Here. What? <laughs>